Hello, Mr. Heitmeyer. Before I begin this final project presentation, I sincerely thank you for allowing me extra time to complete this project. Your understanding is greatly appreciated. I have submitted a written report in addition to this presentation for your review. The purpose of this presentation is to simply demonstrate the site functionality in a visual format. Now, the website I chose to develop here is the SAT Apple website, and the primary purpose of it is to provide Apple support to Americans on the island of Okinawa, Japan. The support provided encompasses Apple product repair and sales, as well as accessory sales. As you can see here on the home page, all support services are represented here in the menu. In addition, there is an About Us and a Contacts page for folks to understand who we are, what we're about, and how to contact us. Clicking on the Accessories link, we first see that we do have the menu that lights up here in gray to let you know which part of the page that you're on. I deployed the Swipebox plugin here to allow users to click on various accessories that they might be interested in. Whenever the accessories come up, there is a description and a price on the top of the page and down on the bottom that can scroll through all the items. It's a little bit slow to load here. You can close that. Look here at this one. Of course, I did implement JavaScript on this page to provide this functionality. It's just a really nice interface. So, all right. Moving on to our repairs page. This was really a difficult page for me to deal with. Uh, the only reason why is because I was able to use JavaScript uh, in the beginning to tap into JSON files to retrieve data. I didn't like the way that the data was displayed using mustache. So depending on which button you click, it will actually bring up a table. And I like the green striping on the table. That was uh, an assignment for one of our, our weeks in class. So you click here, and it will show the iOS repair listing. Click on the desktop computer if that's what you want to repair. There's a desktop repair listing. And finally, you have your MacBook uh, laptop repair listing here. I think this is kind of nifty. I like the way that no matter which button you click on, it will clear all the other repair lists and just either show your iOS device, desktop computer, or Mac uh, computer repair listing that you can, of course, sort however you would like. So moving on to our replacements page, this is the only page that I did not have the opportunity to complete. Uh, and it is simply a repeat of all of the items that are on the accessories page. Uh, in the future, uh, work would include uh, putting, instead of iPhone, iPad, and keyboard accessories, we'd probably put desktop, uh, MacBook, uh, notebook computers, and iOS devices down here for folks to select from. Um, moving on to our About Us page. It's really kind of neat. Um, I really enjoyed uh, assembling this part of the page. It's kind of a, a synopsis of who we are, uh, our different products and services that we provide, and a little bit of our mission statement here, uh, where we strive to provide the folks here on Okinawa uh, the most amazing Apple service possible. So uh, finally, we'll close it out with the contacts page. And as you can see here, uh, do have some contact information here, including a contact form for folks to give us their feedback. Uh, some contact information for us, as well as a really nice integrated map showing where we are located. Um, the bottom menu here, the bottom footer, uh, is uh, also a different way for folks to navigate through the site if they would like, if they're at the bottom of the page and don't want to scroll up to the top. Uh, so that really does provide a little bit of additional functionality as well. All right, and this concludes my presentation of my website. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly uh, did have a challenging time trying to complete it, but I'm really happy with what I learned. I thank you very much for your time, sir. I sincerely appreciate you again. Uh, thank you so much for the hard work and the effort that you put into providing, uh, providing us such a good learning experience. 
Um, I'm going to conclude here by letting you know that at the end of the report, it will show the results of all of my validation for my HTML and my CSS uh, for this website. And I'm going to conclude by splicing in a little bit of information, letting you know that we did, was able to provide, or I'm sorry, construct a PHP site. Unfortunately, that site, when it was uploaded to DreamHost, uh, did not load correctly. I lost a lot of the graphics and a lot of the functionality. And this short little snippet that follows this final presentation will give you a little bit of an overview of uh, my reaction whenever I first found that I wasn't able to load my PHP files. I will certainly submit everything, including PHP, uh, for my final project in my zip files. Again, sir, thank you so much for your time, and please enjoy your break. Thank you. Hello. I'm really sorry to have to sort of splice this video, but I do want to show that uh, for the purposes of this course, I was able to load our uh, SAT Apple website using PHP, as you can see here on my local host, um, was able to get everything working properly. I can scroll through the different uh, web pages. I still need to ensure that I can have the menus uh, interactive. I'm still working that, but I do want to show that on the local host again it does show that we are loading PHP pages uh, this did take quite a while to get working but I'm really happy that I was able to do it also have the navigation on the bottom but the problem that I'm having now is that even though I can have it run via MAMP on my local host whenever I go to Dreamweaver this is what I get so if I go to setapple.com slash index.php. I'll load that up and that's what I get. So if I want to see my repairs page and it shows the different repairs page that I have but it 